Hi everyone, this is Elier Games, and today I'm watching both the character teaser and the character demo for Yelan. Uh, yeah, so far, from what I've seen of her, from little uh, leaks that we've seen, I'm not too interested in her, but uh, it actually turns out that I'm not in danger of getting her. Because uh, the one I actually want, Shinobu, she's not on her banner. The downside, though, is that she's on uh, Ito's banner. Uh, which I also don't want. I mean, I like him as a character. It's just that I wouldn't want to roll for him. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm in a little bit of a pickle here because I don't want to risk getting Ito because I could be saving that guaranteed 50-50. That's not 50-50. That, that guaranteed pity for Ito. So I don't know. I might like roll, do like 20 rolls and then give up on uh, Shinobu for a while until she comes back. But um, yeah, this is about Yelan. Uh, yeah, I don't really know too much about her except her character design that I'm not too big a fan of. I don't really like how they uh, designed her. So we'll see what her personality is like to make up for that. And with that said, let's get started. We've told you everything we know. Oh, the chasm. <sighs> Scram, it's not you I'm interested in. <laughs> By now, she'll be preoccupied with the treasure orders. There's a lot to untangle with that group. They should keep her off our trail for a good week. Oh, yeah, she could turn invisible. We saw that in the trailer. There's no way she can keep tabs on us, too. We'll have ample time to withdraw before she gets back. Uh, who's there? Uh, 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 where am I? How did I? Sorry. I know this isn't the farewell party you were hoping for. She gives me Fabuki vibes from One Punch Man so much. My intelligence network doesn't stop operating just because I leave the city. I know all about the little games you've been playing. I'm afraid the fact that I'm back means my patience has run out. And your luck along with it. Well, that's... Let's see if there's some... Well, that's it for her uh, character teaser. So she seems to be some sort of leader of a intelligence organization, maybe? Huh. Well, let's see what her uh, demo has to offer. All right, let's go. Leaving the city? It's a real jungle out there. It's oh, someone is actually using always come out an umbrella. Rain, since it drowns out the cries for help and washes away any sign of a struggle. Hmm. That all sounds perfect. Uh, <laughs> you sure have nerves of steel, ma'am. Stop! This gives me an almost film noir sort of feeling. The music, at least. I figured. Well, the waiting game is over. Nice lights. <laughs> so she uses some sort of string. That's interesting. Hmm. It really feels like she's Fubuki leading the Fubuki group. <laughs> Someone revealed my plans to you in advance. 
And you didn't think to run. <laughs> what can I say? Much it is kind of cool how she uses all those, like, what I assume are water threads. Afraid. I'm sorry, but this is too little, too late. No, wait! Is she gonna kill him? Who gave you away? I'll tell you. No, I I'll take you to them myself. <laughs> Smart decision. Get up. Mm. Chop chop. Let's go and pay your friends a little visit. I guess that's it. Let's see if there's anything at the very end. And no. Nothing. All right, well, that was okay. Um, seems her, like, combat animations are fairly creative. It does look different from what other ranged characters' combat looks like. But at the same time, I can't see myself wanting that character. It does make me wonder, you know, if she's located in, in Liyue, where exactly is she, like, headquartered? I wonder where her, her base is, essentially. But I guess we'll find out when we get to that point in the game, you know, when we meet her. That is one of the things that kind of, like, bothers me a little bit about this game, is that the sense of scale is kind of the same problem that I have with like Elder Scrolls games where things are too small scale to be actual like cities and countries and stuff. And while, you know, this game does have a gigantic world to explore in terms of games uh, with like handcrafted environments, it's still really small compared to real life or what, what, locations would really be like if a certain amount of people live there. So, like, Liyue looks really impressive from a distance and stuff, but, like, it's not that big a place, even if it is the biggest city in the game, essentially. So I do wonder, you know, how other cities in this game are going to compare. Because I'm pretty sure that Liyue is supposed to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, you know, like, ports or, or port cities around. So I don't know if there's going to be anything that can match or exceed its size. Like, I guess Inazuma City might be, like, white. It might take up more, like, land. But there's no... It doesn't have the same amount of verticality that Liyue does. So I don't know. But uh, yeah, that was my reaction to Yelan's character demo. I'm I'm interested to see what her, I guess, role in the story is going to be like. But beyond that, I'm not too interested in rolling for her. With that said, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.